It was on this bus that the young woman was brutally assaulted as she returned home from the cinema. Her injuries were so severe. It was very brutal. I was furious, more disturbed and scared. I was horrified. It's really disheartening, you know, when you see uh, things which are done to uh, to any human being which uh, is not correct. Honestly, I believe women are not braille that you need to touch them and feel them to understand. It was very brutal, uh, devastating because being a girl, we can understand what trauma she must have gone through. I mean, it kind of really turned your insides out, you know. It's really shocking to hear something like that. It, it just, like this chill ran down my spine that, you know, anything could gets so bad. I don't know how anyone could do something so brutal and not even think twice before doing it. I was in pain. Like, I did not want to read another article on it because I was in sheer pain in listening to what had happened to her. I just couldn't react to the entire episode that happened there and it was like so brutal, so vicious. And I think it was just not a human act. Men who want to rape women or look at women with short skirts, with tube tops are just frustrated you shouldn't kill the person but it should be amputated so that he knows what what it means to be what the pain means you know what the girl will go through if he really rapes someone they should just be thrown into the jail and have a life sentence just saying life sentence so they live they're alive and they suffer throughout their life shock outrage and at times mindless violence an assault that brought many onto the streets. I think most people didn't dare report because they just know that it's a downhill from there. That they feel that one incident I will overcome, but this daily rejection in people's eyes is something that I may not be able to handle. Any rape case that was registered, the first thing is the man. These have always been happening. We need to come out and speak about it and let them know that we are not just going to shut up and take it. I don't think there's any point relying on the system at all because, because you're on WhatsApp or you're constantly in touch with each other so you know when your friends are leaving, after office you call them up so at least you, you make sure that people around you are safer, girls around you are safer, you're safe. A 23-year-old photojournalist was allegedly gang raped in central Mumbai Shakti Mill compound in Worli on Thursday evening. I've left office at 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. in the morning. I've travelled all by myself to my residence never felt that I'm an unsafe city or someone is going to approach me with bad intentions. I don't think Mumbai has suddenly become unsafe and after the instances that have been out in the open about Delhi and other places, suddenly Bombay is also seeing uh, rape happening more and more. So you open the newspaper, you will find 10 cases of rape, even a father raping a daughter. It's such an instance. So I do feel Mumbai is really becoming unsafe. Difficult travelling back home. My parents are very open-minded but again, Knowing that things like this are happening, it becomes really difficult. After hearing Shakti Mills and a personal, I mean, an incident happened to me, which was like 7 in the evening, shook me and my belief that Mumbai is safe. Very simply, you cannot handle a woman standing up or saying, listen, I can get better than you. Because we are the weaker target. I feel this happens because uh, these men are so insecure. They want everything that they like. The women are very vulnerable and uh, they, can be, uh, they can be manipulated emotionally. Naturally, as biologically, women may not be uh, as violent or do something like that. But that's not a necessarily true thing. You know, men can do it or women can do it. If you go back to what, uh, you know, our ways of life were, it was always about the man having the upper hand, right, in our society. Right? So it was never about women having equal opportunities. Forget an upper hand, it was not even about women having equal opportunities. Women are the most weaker section of the society. Okay, they cannot immediately, you know, uh, retaliate on anything. I don't know, we are, they, they perceive us to be weak and maybe we are weak at a certain level because we still don't have the kind of support maybe from the society and the authorities. But in a case where there are 10 men jumping on me, I don't think that I alone can stand up for myself and uh, beat them up and no matter what classes I take. And I remember this, people made it just an issue about those, uh, you know, joint self-defense courses and something. But if men 
they're going to remain that way but they shouldn't be fearful because i think if you are fearful then you are not able to um, defend yourself i mean you are paralyzed by the fear if something does happen to you then you won't be able to defend yourself make prostitution as legal as possible in this country at least make the punishment so severe that people think twice before doing something i think identifying the problem is something which is why are so many rape cases happening basic thing that they can do is help us women feel more comfortable to make a law so that it can be you know over you know someone can you know beat the law and then you know there'll be a case and they'll earn money like that but nothing happens about these laws i have lost complete trust from government that they can do anything because it takes so many months for them to decide whether to hang those who raped person should be really uh, his hands and legs should all be amputated and should be left like that